So tell me about the space we're in. This was your studio first, right? Right. So my studio is in the back. This was always zoned for retail. And when I first moved in, I was like, oh, I'll keep that in the back of my mind. And then um, after a couple months of working in here, I decided to open up the storefront. And that was about, I think it was about three years ago. So then I had this space where I could still work in the back and it was great. And then um, I opened up the store down the street, which closed because of COVID, obviously. So, um, and then this space, I moved my apothecary. So, <clears throat> then when they did the remodel on the outside of this building, I thought, it's a no-brainer. Just reopen. Everything's perfect. So, that's what I did. So, tell me about some of the things that are for sale here now. So I have my um, apothecary line and my candles um, and perfumes that we make. Um, I also have a little assortment of clothing um, that's my style, a little boho, um, a lot of artisan made um, like ceramics, um, jewelry pieces, um, just more, I, I like to carry brands that are smaller and I like to support them. Lots of handmade. And when you were thinking about how to design or decorate the space, you know, there's the floral wall behind you. Tell me about your aesthetic or what you were trying to achieve. So it goes more along the lines of um, kind of that Scandinavian feeling, bright and colorful. And that's before I had more of a minimalist look. But I just wanted, you know, it to be happy and colorful and play around with that, not be so um, afraid to introduce color. And I think that's what a lot of people in Holland do. Everything, they have a lot of bright colors because the cold weather makes them happy. So that's uh, what I was trying to do. Floral patterns, it's bright and cheery. And so you're in Kennett Square online and now here in Malvern. In Malvern. And so we can't leave without asking the question everybody always asks. How do you pronounce the name of your company and what does it mean? So, Zoot, um, that's how it's pronounced. It means sweet, gentle, and soft in Dutch. And Bathletier, I just made it up. It's like a chocolatier, but I make bath and body products. So, that's what it's about. <laughs>